Now, I found the Josh uh, Slocum bit disaffected podcast link is in the uh, description. What are we facing here, people? A lot of people been sleeping. So, like, oh my God, Joshua Slocum is gay. So, wake the fuck up. This is what we're facing as parents and people who love our families, our children. This is the bullshit that is being pushed upon us by the highest levels of government. The highest levels of government, people. This is a whole new fucking dawn. This is crazy. All right, go ahead, Josh. Yourself for it. No, wait. Let me turn you up a little bit. Yeah. Because look at this from Boston Children's Hospital. Can we roll that? You're not going to fucking believe this. You're not going to believe this, people. Because it's me and Josh and other people are bringing this to you and saying, what the fuck is going on? Why are these people so interested? Because they're maps? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, I would say there's something going on with that. Go on, Josh. Clip Kevin, please. Gender affirming hysterectomy is very similar to most hysterectomies. Did you hear that? Let me try it again since more children are maimed, unfortunately. That is going to happen. There's going to be a lot more butchery. Prepare yourself for it. Yeah, I hear you. Because look at this from Boston Children's Hospital. Can we roll that clip, Kevin, please? Gender affirming hysterectomy is very similar to most hysterectomies that occur. You can't hear it because it's hard to hear. Let me see if we can get a... Uh... Mm. You need to hear this. You don't have to listen. If you want to hear the reality of what the fuck is going on, feel free to go look at a cat video. I don't care. This is the reality. This is going on even at Boston Children's Hospital. This is serious fucking shit. Here, special snowflake, go watch, uh, you know, some uh, whatever. Boston Children's Hospital. Can we roll that clip, Kevin, please? Gender forming hysterectomy is very similar to most. Gender forming hysterectomy. Nice looking, you know, ginger person here who has no brain in her head because she's been brain. Well, she's a doctor. Uh, mm -hmm. Indeed. Hysterectomies that occur. A hysterectomy itself is the removal of the uterus, the cervix, which is the opening of the uterus, and the mm -hmm. fallopian tubes, which are attached to the sides of the uterus. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just going to attach the... Uh, fallopian tubes like on the side of the uterus and there's like and gender affirming hysterectomies will also gender confirming hysterectomies they're going to take your daughters at boston children's hospital and they're going to cut out their girl parts these are the people that are running the fucking show just like this cute little redhead. Oh, my God. Who, who could she harm? She's a woman. Include the removal of the ovary. Listen to what she just fucking said. She is a medical doctor. Removing the shit that makes a girl a girl. Uteruses, fallopian tubes, ovaries, all that kind of shit. She's all happy about it. Have you noticed? That's technically a separate procedure called a bilateral oophorectomy. And not every gender affirming hysterectomy includes that. And people. Gender affirming hysterectomy. Little girls, three, four years old, are getting their parts chopped out. Are we living in fucking. 
Weirdville. Who are these people? Never pass an ethical standard, but it's now normal. Yep. This isn't going to stop in, in the U.S. until thousands more children are maimed, unfortunately. That is going to happen. Maimed and brutalized and fucked by pedos. <clears throat> Let's not forget that part of it. Fucked by pedos. Josh, there's going to be a lot more butchery. Prepare yourself for it. <sighs> oh. Because look at this from Boston Children's Hospital. Can we roll that clip, Kevin? This is in Boston. Cute little redhead say, oh, my God, you know, a four-year-old girl gets her shit chopped out. It's perfectly fine. Dinner perming hysterectomy is very similar to most hysterectomies that occur. Except you're doing it on children who are not adults cannot make this decision, Ginger. The fuck is wrong with you? This woman is brainwashed and fucking a zombie. Now, excuse me. We hear all the time there are lizard people in the world. Alex Jones, etc. Lizard people don't have to look like lizards, do they? Here is one right now. Happy as fuck to chop out the girl parts of little baby girls. Unbelievable. A hysterectomy itself is the removal of the uterus, the cervix, which is the opening of the uterus. Yeah, for an adult person, you fucking evil cancer. For an adult female, 18 plus, if they want to have this done, they can do that. You're talking about children. Fuck is wrong with you? Seriously. She's an NPC. She is a fucking lizard person. That's what's going on here, guys. This. I'm a medical doctor. I'm going to chop up a four-year-old girl. What the fuck is your problem? Well, because they think a certain way. When they're four years old or earlier, three years old, they like to play with trucks instead of Barbie dolls. So they're obviously the other. And we're going to surgically mutilate them. What the fuck is going on, people? And the fallopian tubes, which are attached to the sides of the uterus. Some gender-affirming hysterectomies will also include the removal of the ovaries. But that's technically a separate procedure called a bilateral oophorectomy. And An oophorectomy for a four-year-old girl. This is what's going on right now in Boston and in big cities all across this country and other Western countries. It's perfectly fine. Get a child into the uh, thing and chop out their shit. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on here? And not every gender-affirming hysterectomy includes that. And people who are getting gender-affirming hysterectomies do not have to have their ovaries removed. Well, if they get their uterus chopped out, what the fuck is the point of the ovaries? When the child is 17, 18, they want to have a baby. They can't. Because you fucking mutilated them. You took away their future by chopping out their shit. And this girl is just fucking happy as clam. Dude, God damn it. Gender affirming hysterectomies will also include the removal of the ovaries, but that's technically a separate procedure called a bilateral oophorectomy. And not every gender affirming hysterectomy includes that. And people who are getting gender affirming hysterectomies do not have to have their ovaries removed. This is what is going on, people. Drop the bullshit about women being bitches and date. This is the most important thing you need to pay attention to. Not, uh, you don't have to be a parent. You just have to be a human being and say, what the fuck is this? Three, four-year-old kids getting their shit chopped out to push this bullshit forward.
unbelievable. Not even in Stalin's freaking USSR. Not even in the worst communist shithole you can imagine. Did they chop people's shit up just to make a point? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Go on. Exactly. Get it. Boston Children's Hospital. Yeah. If you've watched this show before, you can pick out many of the tells that I'm going to talk about here. Yes, sir. I, I, I got you. I listened to you last night. Never miss the show. Tell us the tells. I know what you're going to say because I already heard it. Here's the camouflage that this woman is using. This is Dr. Frances Grimstad. If you're just watching, she appears to be about somewhere between 35 and 40. So let me list out the camouflage that this very sick and disturbed individual is using to stop you from noticing that she is sick and disturbed. Lizard people, Josh. They don't have to look like lizard people to be those. Go on. Number one, I mean, she's not using this. This is just her. But this is how this works. She's a woman, number yep. one. Yep. Your, yep. your trust level is automatically higher for her as a you woman. You got the halo effect because you're a chick. You obviously can't be <laughs> nothing like that. No, it's evil men forcing you to do this. Really? 40% of children born in the United States are single mothers. Who is pushing this shit? Think about it. Think very carefully about who is pushing this nonsense. It's not men. Than it would be for a man. She can get away with saying exactly the same things and proposing exactly the same monstrous surgical activity that she could not get away with if she were a male because we are more sympathetic to women. Stop doing Exactly. Just unbelievable. Doing that. I mean, do I have to play it again? I think I've made my point. Oh, she's a cute little girl. She's got red hair and she's a doctor. Everything must be fine. It's not fine. It's the farthest thing from fine. Mutilating children to push your agenda forward. And eventually to fuck these children for maps and pedos. This is some crazy ass shit. Don't pay attention to anything else. Trump and his goddamn White House and his fucking papers. This is the most important thing we need to pay attention to right fucking now. Right now. We've got the government telling parents they have no say. They're willing to pay for it to bring to this brutal fucking redhead to chop their shit up. And it's for fucking Pedos. Think about it. I'm going to go have some supper. You take care, but God damn it. Forget about all the other distractions and bullshit. This is the most important thing we've ever faced in this country. Right now, our children are being fucking mutilated. Polish Pony says exactly the same goddamn thing I'm saying. This is communist tactics. Divide and conquer. Johnny Midnight says your chats are too short. <clears throat> well, some might disagree. But thank you, Johnny. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good night. 
We'll do some more later or tomorrow. <laughs>